Ever heard the buzzing sound during night or daytime? Or ever felt the flickering pain of getting bitten while you are playing or enjoying outdoors? We all experience this mild sensation every day. Though we all know them as mosquitoes, they too belong from different species and exhibit distinctive characteristics. Knowing different kinds of mosquitoes can always help us in finding the right cure or can alarm us so that we can keep distance. Found in tropical areas, these mosquitoes are known to be the most notorious when it comes to spreading diseases. Aedes mosquito bite can cause yellow fever, dengue, West Nile, and chikungunya and has added Zika to its list recently. They are usually found in floodwater pools, wetlands, and inside natural or artificial containers. Though these mosquito species can be found outside in abundance, they can readily enter homes at any time of the day. They are popularly known as the marsh mosquitoes and this genus consists of about 460 different mosquito species. Adult mosquito of this genus is always ready to feed on humans. Anopheles mosquito is responsible for death of millions of people globally. Also, Malaria has been the number two cause for maximum number of deaths in the world. Culex pepians mosquitoes are most active after sunset, but they are also found to be the daytime biters. Species of this genus can be found breeding in freshwater resources as pools, ponds and even in sewage treatment plants. They are responsible for the spread of West Nile virus and St. Louis encephalitis. Adapted to the cold climate, these mosquitoes do not feed on human beings and hence cannot transmit the virus Eastern Equine Encephalitis. It feeds actively on mammals and birds. They can be found inside the roots of fallen trees and wooded swamps. Found in black or brown color with sparkling wings and legs, these mosquitoes are mostly bigger than others. Transmitting encephalitis can be found in most parts of the world. They are active in the evening. Commonly known to feed on large mammals, including humans. Mosquitoes of this genus are considered to be intensely aggressive. This genus is known to travel long distances in search of blood meals. They have their breeding grounds at roadside ditches, woodland pools, and pastures. They have their breeding grounds inside tree holes and artificial containers. Mosquitoes of this genus don't pose any risk to humans and they feed on plant nectar. Interestingly, larvae of these mosquitoes prey on the larvae of other mosquitoes in their region. Mosquitoes of this genus are closely associated with pitcher plants and bromeliads. They are not the carrier of any kind of virus and hence they aren't of any risk to humans unless they travel into their area.